Well, what's going on? What I'm going to do today is do a couple things, first of all. I'm going to answer questions that people ask me in my drum clinics. And I'm going to show you beginner drummers, you beginner batillas, all over the world, how to tune a drum head. Let's get started shall we say. The first thing you want to do is take off all the lugs. You're going to need a drum key. You can get a drum key from any drum store around the world. You can get a drum key off eBay. You can get a drum key even off Craigslist. Without a drum key, you can't untune the drums. Don't go using a wrench or some pliers. You're just going to uh, shred the threading gonna waste your time then you're gonna have to go to a music store and then get new lugs not waste it's a waste of time get a drum key and you know the beauty of a drum key is this there's a little hole on one side it attaches to your keychain so you always have it and just in case you're doing a gig somewhere and the music's thumping the beats grooving And there's a girl over there that says, man, I want to get to know the drummer just a little bit more. And you say, yeah, baby, come my way. But her man doesn't see it that way. And he may want to say a couple things to you. Remember, a drum key also makes a great weapon. Even though I'm about love, sometimes, hey. You gotta do what you need to do. All right, let's go. So you got the logs off the drum. You take the hoop off. Woo! You take off this old drum head. See, the Chaz man then took this drum head and damaged it. And I like when I damage a drum head. Okay, done. Get rid of that one. Okay, now you're gonna put this new Remo drum head. I love Remo. The best drum heads in the world. Remo. Slap it on, put your hoops back on. At this point, you take all the lugs and you tighten them down as tight as you can by hand. Very important. Okay, now that you didn't tighten all the lugs on the drum head, now you're gonna take that proverbial drum key now you're gonna start tuning the drum. Now, there are many different ways to tune a drum head. You know, one of my favorite drummers is Mr. Terry Bozio. According to him, he tunes according to keys on the piano. That's one way to do it. Me personally, I do it my way. What I like to do is this. Go count, go clockwise. Each drum, you're gonna marry each other. You're gonna go one turn, one turn, opposite side, one turn, one turn, and guess what? Again, one turn, one turn. You want to get it to a point where you get all the little ridges out of the drum. It's gonna maybe take about two turns, okay? So you go another turn, another turn, another turn. You just keep on turning, man. Bam. Bam. From there, it's getting there. Still a couple ridges. So at this point, you go turn, turn. Then it's going to start making all kind of crackling noises. Then you know you're getting in the ballpark. There you go. The head is stretching on the head. There you go. So that's about three half turns, basically. I like to take my time tuning the drum head because you want to tune the drum head evenly. You know what I mean? By evenly. It's like seeing a girl and both sides of her body are even. That's what you need. Because if your head is lopsided, it's gonna crack easier. The sound will not be as good. 
and then you're gonna be having the drum on the on the uh, drum set, trying to retune and crap. It's a nightmare. Take your time, tune the drum head the right way the first time, and then you can get back to crack, boom, and bam. Hoo Okay. At this point, I like to take the stick and just make sure it sounds even. Now, it's not going to sound pretty, but it sounds even. Okay, then, okay, so now, sounds kind of even, basically. It needs a little bit more tuning. But that's okay because you got it to a mid-tone, to the mid-tone of the actual shell of the drum. So you know what you're working with. Now this is a, uh, a DW 12 inch tom. And basically again, I go counterclockwise. Half turn to half turn. So you know, then you take the drum, put it on the edge of the bottom rim. Now you just do a little bit of fine tuning. Me, I like my drums tuned kind of high because the music that I play requires me to be heard. Let's get one thing straight, man. You also want to look good too, but we'll talk about that later, but I need to be heard. feeling that. So now it's just a matter of just little by little just tuning that drum. You know then you may have to turn the drum upside down in the bottom just a little bit. Now look, this is important. More importante! The bottom head needs, needs to be tighter than the top. Because it's supporting the sound, man. Or ladies. And this head, the bottom head is always thinner. The bottom, check it on out. It's a Remo Ambassador. Sounds very, very good. Oh, man. Woo! We getting there. A drum head. Come get some.